so hello guys welcome to ddm so some of you folks who are uh, following me in instagram and also the youtube community post might know that i'm in continuous trips for the last one month and you might also know about that one major incident which happened to my empty helmet the empty thunder 3sv so today's video is going to be all about that incident which happened to me during my trip from hyderabad to coimbatore and how i dealt with it so the main audience for this video are the folks who have uh, plans to buy any of these brands which are displayed on the screen mt aspida carberg rio forma etc in india so if you have any plans to buy any of these brands in this country then you must watch this video fully till the end because if you get unlucky like me and if something happened to your product then you will most likely end up in the same situation as mine and this video will definitely help you out to resolve this issue and mainly know what you are basically dealing with so why did i mention a lot of brands and said this is the only video you need for all of that because this is going to be a review of not an individual product but a company which is a redistributor and a manufacturer of all these brands in india and they are called the spartan pro gear so if you are somebody who ever tried to look for motorcycle gear in india online i am pretty sure you might have come across this brand along with other indian brands like rhinox biking brotherhood zeus etc and along with their online presence they do have six company owned outlets in major cities like chennai bangalore hyderabad coimbatore and kochi and with this many outlets and a humongous online presence you might think that they are really big and good with everything right guess what not even close let me explain why so what really happened is after i had my dinner i started my motorcycle and i would have crossed like you know 4 5 kilometers or something like that and then suddenly there was a thunderous noise inside the helmet and you wouldn't believe it was so loud that i couldn't continue anymore and immediately i didn't doubt the helmet or anything like that because like it's a brand new helmet it has been driven only for like you know 250 300 kilometers and that too at one stretch so it was never dropped even by a chance so then what happened is that i was actually doubting my earbuds so what i do is i actually wear my uh, galaxy buds so this galaxy buds is basically a wireless earphone from samsung so i have that so i can listen to songs i can listen to you know the uh, map directions and everything like that so that's the reason i have it so what i was actually doubting is that that earphone has an ambient mode so i thought somehow in my phone somewhere i touched something like that and the ambient mode uh, got on then i stopped in the side i opened the app i disabled that then it was like okay fine 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 then i was like you know riding like this okay now everything is fine and then suddenly i stood up like this and again the same thunderous sound came so i was like you know what happened did the galaxy buds go wrong or something because this galaxy buds is actually more costly than my helmet so i was like you know what went wrong and uh, then i was like you know something is really wrong something is like really wrong it is basically you know basically the sound is coming because of the changes which you do in your head then i was like i got the doubts like ah, man this is something to do with your helmet and then i slowly like you know i took my hand and i was like uh, touching the top end then i realized that the top end is not even there i was like what this is a brand new helmet and the top end just went somewhere I, uh, that was like around 10 30 in the night i was like i stopped the bike and uh, i was like i have all the luggage so i am on full gear so we need to go and search for that <laughs> because i cannot drive like this because it's like i have more 600 to 700 kilometers to cover and i can never drive like that even for the next 4 5 kilometers so i was like okay uh, let's uh, you know let's stop the bike somewhere and then uh, no let's let's walk for some time i mean like let's walk for some 100 200 meters it might have you know fallen there only i don't think it's that much and then what i did i stopped the bike i went up to some to extent and you know they like i literally realized that i'm i'm being stupid and uh, then what i did i again took the bike i went to the uh, next i mean like i went to the next u turn i took a u turn and, and then i came searching for the vent and i couldn't really find the vent yeah it was like 
like really dark i couldn't find anything i was like so disappointed then what i thought immediately was that i immediately thought of an alternative so the alternative was to um, actually plug something inside these vents so i don't get all this air rushing inside to it so this was what i was you know uh, thinking of so what did i do is i went back to that same hotel where i had my dinner and um, i got some tissue paper from them i you know uh, rolled all that tissue paper and i pushed it inside this vent so this air doesn't get inside that and i don't get that sound and when i was doing that i was going through a lot of emotions i was like too angry too angry to a level that of sometimes i just lose it so th this was this was that this was that i was like you know I, i don't want to explain okay so that was the thing so then what happened uh, and then i immediately called up the store guys because i have some good connection with these uh, spartan store guys and uh, i have purchased a lot of gear from spartan like almost every gear which i wear is actually from spartan and um, they were like you know sir you do one thing as it happened for you in the middle of a you know a tour a do one thing just drop a mail right now with the photos and everything so they will know that this has happened you know uh, in a critical time and they will help you with the warranty and all that and these guys were very sure that i will get it in warranty i was like okay fine i dropped a mail then i went home and next day after i woke up i got a mail from these guys patan it happens i mean like you know a vent and all will fly off and uh, we cannot do anything we cannot give you a replacement then they were like you know if you can send the helmet to us uh, we will like you know kind of you know try to repair and send it to you back so they did not own any responsibility at all and the words they chose or the way they have written no oh my god you wouldn't believe that do you, you literally go to spartan pro gate chennai and then you will just you know go there you know asking for justice so th that's how their behavior was after reading that mail i told that guy very clearly like so if something like this happens to you in a middle of a trip and you have to cover 500 600 more kilometers would you be in the same reaction talking this nonsense so then i thought okay calm down calm down so this is some guy in the customer care he doesn't uh, care about anything so what you can do is probably just to you know let's uh, just um, be calm and write another mail telling that you have to get this resolved somehow because this is a brand new helmet and uh, something like that happened i again wrote a mail very calmly and then and again that guy came up telling the same thing it's like you know it literally talking to a robot like you tell whatever and he will come up with the same things and then what i did in the meantime i wanted to check with the empty helmet spain so this is a helmet which is imported from spain right i wrote a very detailed mail to empty helmet spain asking like you know or the, these guys uh, a real distributor or these guys a genuine distributor or these guys are selling first copy clothes because like nothing like that will happen to a helmet of this price and if you ask me this issue won't even come in helmets like you know steel bird or something like that leaf steel bird this issues won't even come in those uh, non -I, non isa helmets so i was like you know uh, let's talk that and i asked to them and one thing i came to know is that these guys are not actually the official distributors of uh, empty helmets in india because when i spoke to them they tied up another company telling that these guys are the official distributors of empty helmets in india and i was like what happened to spartan pro gear so they are not your official distributor so they are like you know redistributors from this official distributor or they are selling first copy clones i was like pretty confused so i was like okay so there is no positive resolution out of this so empty helmets even doesn't claim that these guys are their official redistributors so i thought okay um, let's you know go to consumer court and all that then i went to my parents i told them that you know this is what has happened and you already know the incident and all that so now tell me like you know what i should do should i go for a consumer complaint because like this is a serious problem for all the riders and as a riding community i should at least you know uh, do a consumer complaint and then my parents were like you know uh, if you are going for consumer complaint it is better if you have more uh, support on your side apart from you know the legal support and all that so they i was like okay so i will take it to social media i will I'll tell everybody this then uh, let's see how many people have actually had this so based on that count then we'll decide i took it to social media i took it to instagram you might have seen it i have also taken it to uh, youtube and um, again you might have seen those community posts and all that and people had lot of issues man so it's not like 
it's like only 1% or 2% of the people were not affected by MT and everybody else were affected and there were many complaints against Spartan Pro Gear also I was like you know okay so it's like you know this is happening with everybody so let's do something let's file a case against them and then uh, we got somebody to write that thing uh, the consumer complaint and um, I was just about to go to the consumer court and this guy from the customer support he replied me Mac saying that um, we will uh, you just send the helmet to us we'll get it replaced under warranty or I will get a full replacement I was like happy okay so they finally they did you not know, think of this and then they came to that so then i spoke to my parents again and they were like you know send the helmet i was like okay i sent the helmet i neatly packed i packed a lot better than them and then i sent it back and after sending it back this guy came back with a mail telling that uh, no uh, we cannot do anything uh, we will try to service the helmet and we'll give you there will not be any replacement and all that this was a reply i was like you just said something and you immediately change the option i was like what kind of customer service these guys are running i mean like it's the same guy replying i mean like it's not a different guy i don't want to mention his name but uh, he is a bit popular guy in spartan pro i later came to know that so uh, then what happened like i was like pretty shocked and you know astonished by their behavior and then i didn't say anything and uh, i started calling to their customer service number and the main reason why i was primarily dealing with mails is because these guys don't pick up the uh, calls like you call to them they won't pick up that's it like you know you call any many times to them they won't pick up and this is not like you know I uh, spoke to them and then they you know knew my number and they are you know trying to avoid me and all that I they never attended the call at first place itself so nothing like that happened I called to all the three numbers which is mentioned in there but you know none of that works uh, so then I finally gave a try I was like you know let's talk to them let's have the call recorded and all that anyway this is going to be useful for the case so then I spoke to them and uh, there was a guy who picked up and i told this issue i was like you know uh, i sent a helmet and after me sending the helmet you guys spoke like this i want to talk to the person who is behind this and also i want to deal with somebody with whom i can escalate this issue and uh, that guy immediately i was like yeah, yeah yeah i will push you i'll i'll put you to the customer care like, okay put to customer care and i was like okay then there was a lady who attended and she was like i told her all this issue she was asking the ticket number and all that i gave the ticket number and then she went to do that and she was saying that Sir, i'm really sorry i don't know what happened between you and this guy uh, i'm really sorry we have received your helmet i will make sure that this gets serviced under warranty and we'll give you i was like you know why that guy was giving me the word that if there is uh, if this you know is a manufacturing defect then he will replace the helmet and give when you are telling this and he was like sir i don't know what he i don't know in what mood he told to you all these things but the reality is the vents and the visor these all things come under helmet accessories and uh, your shell and uh, your uh, helmet only it only comes in the uh, helmet category and these things come under accessories and when it comes under accessories your warranty will be only uh, used to do the service like we will not give you we will not replace the entire helmet for you makes sense it made sense to me it may not make sense to others it made sense to me because i do know that these things are actually helmet accessories and not the helmet itself and um the he could have said this in one line one line but instead that guy simply wanted to irritate the customer and uh, wanted to do that so then this lady explained about the process i mean like what comes under warranty what does not come under warranty then she took the page in which you know it was uh, written that you know what comes under warranty what doesn't come under warranty i'll i'll put the link of that in the uh, description so you also know like what comes and what doesn't come okay so then she went to do that and he said hey, you don't need to literally worry about anything we will take care of it and i'll send it back to you in two days of time i was like you do whatever you want but i need the helmet back and i won't pay a rupee and she was like okay sir it's okay no problem because like you have uh, sent us the helmet that's all we need from you and uh, this repair charges sending it back and all we'll take care you don't need to worry about that this is our general warranty procedure you don't need to worry about that i was like okay fine do that and uh, in next i think uh, four or five days i received the helmet and then i posted the picture in the um, uh, youtube and uh, also in instagram i'm not really sure so this is what really happened uh, with me and spartan and this is how uh, it was dealt so now if you want to know like you know how you have to deal with the spartan let me tell you one thing if something 
happens like this like in the uh, middle of a tour or something like that just drop a mail and don't expect any kind of you know uh, uh, positive reply from that mail because one thing i learned is that the guys who actually handle the mails is actually different from the people who are sitting in the customer care and they will talk to you looks like the guy i actually spoke to is not even a customer guy, service person he is somebody from the product department who handles all the repairs and everything so looks like everybody has access to these mails and literally anybody will jump into and give their irrelevant comments so if you don't want any of those headaches just do one thing after you encounter any issue with pattern or their products just put a mail then after that call them call them repeatedly repeatedly i gave up i gave up after one hour or something like that but don't give up keep calling and uh, some day sometime they might pick up your call and if they pick up the call then tell your issue slowly calmly tell your issue so then after uh, talking in the phone also if there is no resolution then it comes down to two options so the first option is to live with whatever uh, issue that product has and the second option is to actually take it to the consumer court this is what you should be doing so that's the reason i am saying prevention is always better than cure so if you have any plans of buying any product from spartan pro gear just drop that plan because it all depends on how lucky you are if you are not lucky then you have to go through a lot of emotions and lot of drama to make sure that this thing will be resolved for you so avoid spartan pro gear and any product which they sell so you don't go through any of these issues so that's it for this video guys i uh, hope you liked it and uh, i hope you found it useful as usual so if you like the video always uh, give it a thumbs up and if you found it useful always uh, share it with your friends and if you haven't subscribed yet guys don't forget to subscribe the more people subscribes useful information reaches a lot of people and it will be really helpful so subscribe guys if you haven't subscribed yet so that's it for this video guys see you next week with another video till then stay safe and ride safe bye bye